if you're working on a journal or you're thinking about creating a devotional for women, I need you to stop for a moment, sit with me and let's dive in. Why? Because we need to do things in reverse. A lot of the videos on YouTube tell you, make this journal because it's going to make you $5,000 a month. Uh, make this uh, type of book because it's going to make you $10,000 a month. And for a lot of us who are purpose driven and we do want to create devotionals, we do want to create content and books that are valuable to other women or people in general. It is very important that we do things in reverse. We don't create and then expect money to flood in. No, in fact, we do the complete opposite. What do I mean by that? Let's be real. If you clicked on a video that said that you're going to make $5,000 a month if you create a specific type of journal, you clicked on it because it was enticing and because you want to make money. You would love, you love the idea of wanting to make money online and you love the, what's appealing is that it seems so easy. Create this PDF file and make 10,000, 5,000, 50,000. It is very attractive. It's an attractive notion. They, these YouTubers don't talk about is the fact that it's so important to bring attention to that product attention to that brand. What can you do? Create a channel for your brand. And if that brand is you and you are the niche and you're talking about the things that you have overcome, the wisdom that you have uh, gained from the experiences that you have had, then that's exactly what you're going to do. Create a channel before you start creating books and all these things. Wait, Unless if you want to create books, so just test the waters and see how good you can get creating books and designing go for it. Excellent. However, create a YouTube channel. Talk about the things that you've gone through and build the brand that you desire. Number two, once you have that YouTube channel, create videos consistently. The more videos you create, the better you're going to get at talking to the camera, at getting more comfortable, uh, not presenting information, but rather just communicating whatever it is, those ideas that you have in your mind, the things that you have in your heart, and learning how to communicate that on camera. Once you've opened up your channel, you are posting daily or weekly or monthly or whatever the whatever schedule you would like to create. It's important that you connect with your audience. What is the purpose of you creating videos if you do not want to connect with others? It's very important that when we create, it doesn't matter whether it's a video, whether it's a YouTube channel, whether it's a book, whether it's anything that you create and you put out, that output needs to be valuable. And how can you create value when you are creating a channel or a book? It's connection. We all desire to be connected and we were created to be connected and interconnected with each other. Connect with those that are following you. How can you connect a little bit further? Well, offer something for free. Offer a 10 day devotional and where you can share, you know, 10 steps on how you were able to get over anxiety, over, uh, a, uh, a stressful week, whatever you can think of, you can create uh, a small PDF of a five steps on how to reduce anxiety, reduce stress, overcome depression, you name it, get creative. Now you may be thinking, okay, great. I can create something for free. How can they access it? Well, one of the best tools is convert kit now known as kit in this platform. You can create forms, the landing page, and that's exactly how you're going to start collecting email addresses. When they click on the link, they're going to go ahead and put in their information. And guess what? They're going to be able to receive that free document that you are providing to them. Once you are growing your email list, you want to go ahead and nurture that list by sending weekly emails or maybe a monthly newsletter. That way you can keep in touch with them and you can share pretty much anything you'd like. Your email list is a way that your audience can get to know you, know about you. You can even send weekly videos of you, you know, sharing your, your, your moments of self-reflection, journaling, you name it. It's, it's a way that you can connect on a deeper level. Once you have a good chunk of videos on YouTube, now it's time to analyze what videos resonated most with your audience from those videos that did very well you will be able to determine the type of information that your audience is interested in. We're going to talk about that journal that you're going to create. However, before you can create a digital product of any kind, and if you want it to be successful, 
because that's the whole goal. You want to create something that's going to be successful in the end, right? Create a digital product based on that video that was the most popular on your channel. Now, don't just get on YouTube and in every video, you're going to start talking about your product because you want to sell it and you want to sell it and you want to sell it. No, in fact, sure, you want to mention it. However, why not create a challenge encouraging those women that are following you on YouTube or just encourage your audience to join you on some sort of challenge? And then as part of that challenge, guess what? You can go ahead and talk about that product that they can use during that challenge. By now, you might be thinking, man, Maritza, I got to do all these things so I can just sell a journal. Well, if you want to position yourself for success and to make the most amount of sales, then you have to have traffic going to that product, right? I don't want you to forget. A lot of people forget. I kind of dislike that we live in an era where it's all about money and producing sometimes junk. So we sacrifice value and serving people, which is what it should be about. We are called to serve others. And at the end of the day, it's very important that we serve people with value and not just post or publish junk that's not really going to influence or cause some sort of positive impact in someone's life. Or if you don't want to do that, you don't want to do the challenge and you just want to create this journal and just talk about this journal or talk about this devotion, you can create this digital product that you want to create and inside of it, you can create QR codes, provide that QR code. And once those customers of yours, they scan that QR code inside the book, they can actually have access to private videos that you have produced, which I think is very neat. How can you provide those private videos? Well, you can go ahead and start that YouTube channel, upload those videos on YouTube, turn, turn the link to the video into a QR code and you plug it in to that book that you're planning to create. And then you're thinking, you're probably thinking, but wait, I don't even know how to create videos. I might not even want to show my face on camera. Well, I'm glad you asked. There is a tool that I came across a couple months ago that I thought was very cool. It's called InVideo AI. And in this software, it will create a video for you literally in seconds based on the prompt that you give it. So I tried it. I went ahead and started giving this AI, the InVideo AI, a prompt. And within seconds, it started to produce a video based on that prompt. So the whole gist that I would love for you to understand and what I, the major takeaway that I would love for you to take from this video is that if you're going to produce something, it needs to be valuable. You can't just expect to produce a journal, put it out there into Amazon KDP, and you're waiting for someone to find it. I want you to think for a moment. You want visibility. You want to make sales. That book needs to be visible. People need to know that book exists. How are people going to know that your book exists when you are not talking about it? You are not promoting it. You are not supporting that book with ads. You're driving zero traffic to that book. Sure. There are ways to make organic sales, but to rely on just organic sales, it's just, for me, I feel like it's a little bit lazy because you're just producing whatever, sitting down, waiting for the sales to come in. And it's like, oh, you know, I failed. My book didn't work. You probably have an excellent book idea. You probably have an idea that hasn't been seen before. It's very unique. It's creative and it can help a lot of people. But how are people going to know about it if you don't talk about it? You are not building a brand around it. I hope this video was helpful. Go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. God bless.